All right, today's Tuesday tidbit is on what is a temporary interest rate buy down? So there's two different types of interest rate buy downs. There's a permanent rate buy down. You pay upfront money, you get a lower rate for the length of your loan. It is permanent. It exists for the length of the loan, the life of the loan. A temporary rate buy down is where your rate is temporarily reduced. Okay. So let's say rates are at 7%. You could sign up for a 2-1 buy down where your rate would be 5% the first year, 6% the second year, and then their third year and beyond, you'd end up with a static normal monthly mortgage payment. Temporary rate buy down. Your rate is reduced for a two-one buy down, two percent the first year, one percent the second year. Third year and beyond, normal payment. There's a lot of different variations of buy downs. There's a three two one, three percent the first year, two percent the second year, one percent the third year. There's a one year buy down, one slash zero, one percent down the first year, no change the second year and beyond. So there's a few different variations of temporary rate buy downs. But the temporary rate buy down. It's typically a seller concession, which means the seller is going to pay for it for you. And what happens is you'll see a line item on your settlement statement that shows a debit to the lender for the amount of the temporary buy down, and then a credit from whichever party is contributing, typically it's either a builder or a seller, paying for that buy down. So it ends up canceling each other out on the settlement statement. The lender is then going to take that money, set it aside into a separate account, an escrow account. Escrows just means it's a temporary holding account. The funds are not being released in one specific party, they're just temporarily being held on to. We then supplement your mortgage payment with that money on a monthly basis. So you will make a reduced payment for the first X amount of years, depending on how long your buy-down's for. We'll take that money from that escrow account and supplement your payment. The really good thing with the temporary interest rate buy-down is that what, if you go to refinance before the buy down period is over, let's say you refinanced a year from now and you did a two one buy down, whatever money is left over in that escrow account will get applied towards the balance of your mortgage. That makes it really, 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 really nice because one, if you're getting a rate in a high interest rate environment, which is the only time temporary rate buy downs are even really popular, uh, you're likely to be refinancing in the future. And if you do go to refinance, if there's money left over in that account, it goes applied towards your balance, you walk away owing that much less. So there's simply no way you can leave money on the table. With a permanent buy down, whatever money you pay up front, it's gone. There's no way to get it back. It's out the door. Uh, hasta la vista. So hope that's helpful. Hope that makes sense. And uh, honestly, we never saw temporary buy downs until uh, rates started to increase. Uh, this used to be only a piece of the puzzle when it was new construction and builders were trying to entice people to come look at their homes. Hey, we'll reduce your payment for the first X amount of years. Well, it's become a lot, a lot more widely used um, due to the high interest rate environment and the anticipation of rates dropping in the future. Thanks. Bye.